I grew up without a father. And um, I never worried about it. It never concerned me because before I could even know what growing up without a father was, my mom had a conversation with me. And she said, look, I know you don't have a father, but don't worry about it because I'm gonna be your mother and your father. People used to ask me like, where's your father? I was like, I don't know. And they'd be like, don't you, aren't you concerned about that? I was like, nah, they were like, why not? I said, well, because my mom said she's gonna be my mom, my mother and my father. I didn't need anything else. I even found that I preferred not having a father. All of the men that I was exposed to that were trying to play that father role, they, they only were able to play that role superficially. And so growing up, I never really grew up wanting or missing or not, or, or just being upset for not having a father. One time I actually asked one of these dudes for advice, um, and it was with skateboard. I, I never forget this advice. I asked this dude, I was like, well, you know, what should I do? Because these people were telling me that I'm not real, I'm not this, I'm not that, because I skateboard. And the only thing this man said was, you you gotta understand, you gotta do what you gotta do. You can't let people hold you back. What I should have been told was, people are criticizing you for what they what you're doing is because they can't do it themselves and they admire what you do. That's what would have been told to me. And honestly, that's what a competent person would tell a young adult. There were times when I did need a, a, a male role model and the way that I met that need was by simply looking at public figures and just looking for public figures that I admired and I, that, that I believe had the qualities that I didn't. I had problems or issues with my confidence and the way that I spoke. I literally watched Obama. I watched all of his debates and I studied the way that he answered questions and the way that he responded, the way that he, that he formed his sentences. When I needed motivation or when I needed direction, I listened to a lot of Jay. I used to listen to uh, Reasonable Doubt, Day of My Lifetime, Volume 1, Day of My Lifetime, Volume 2. And I was listening to it because I always admired the trajectory. Of, of them. I always admired how they transitioned from the street into the corporate office and I thought it was so cool how someone could work in an office and because they had on a suit and tie, their output for the day would be so low but their income in my mind was just so high. You know what I mean? Especially coming from like blue collar work. And so I admired that. I remember I, I, I remember I combed through all, <laughs> I, I combed through so many J albums looking for just like a couple of words giving me some advice on how to, you know, move. You know what I mean? And it's interesting because I was never really able to get any like direct directives from it, but the overall exposure to it, it put my mind in a context where really, which really helped me strive. Now as an adult, I still am not upset about going on without a father. I don't miss not having a father. And I talk to people all the time who grow without fathers and they say different things like, you know, they wish they were able to get in touch with their bloodline and get an idea of like what the other half of their family is like if I really do take the time to really brainstorm and really rack my mind I would partially like to know who my father is just so I can kind of like see what they look like and just to also maybe have a connection with another side of my family but outside of that I'm, I'm almost kind of glad that I don't know who my father is because it gives me the freedom to determine my own destiny more so than it, I would had I had a father to sit there in front of me and to sort of sit as sort of a um I, I would feel upset if my father was a failure my father was stupid you know I would feel upset if if I find myself to be three times the man of my father and I'm gonna be honest our chances chances are that that could definitely be the case and I would be more heartbroken had I known who he was given those circumstances. So I said to say that like, even now I don't particularly care that I don't know who my father is. I really genuinely don't. And I'm almost happy that I don't know who my father is. I felt like a lot of men grow up with fathers who achieve so little in life and mothers who really are just on the same page. It's like when you meet people in life that don't have a lot of confidence, it's like I think that's, that, that could be one of the reasons why. It's because their, their closest family members haven't achieved anything, so why would they be able to achieve something? My mom did tell me a few things about my dad, and honestly, I'm actually glad to hear them, even though they're not really the coolest things. My mom told me that my dad drove a black BMW, and that he basically met her within a short period of time, and just totally abandoned her afterwards. With that in mind, I pretty much know that my dad was a gangster from New York. You know, I'm here in New York right now and that's all I know. All I know is he's a gangster from New York and he drove a black BMW. 
And in my mind, he's in someone's Hall of Fame. Chances are he probably died in prison or in the street. You know what I mean? And that's pretty much what my take is on that. And that's pretty much where I leave it. And that's just enough to satisfy me. Because outside of that, I determine my own destiny. I feel like I notice a lot of people that are stressed about not knowing who their father are. I don't think they know just how limiting having an incompetent father could be. Having a father that didn't really achieve anything, you know? When I look back at my life and I think like, could it have been better if I had a father? I mean, to be honest, I really am sort of not sure. I, I think a lot of guys that grow without fathers, they always don't come have this assumption that their life would have been so much better if they had a father. And I can honestly say that I, I can't, I can't really confidently agree to that. Because if I had a father that didn't accomplish anything, I, I wouldn't, I can't say that I wouldn't have dropped out of high school. And if I had a father that didn't accomplish anything, I can't say that I would have been motivated to try to graduate from college. You know, it's so funny because even as an adult, once every blue moon, once every blue, blue motherfucking moon, I will get a criticism. And it'll be a criticism from another guy saying something along the lines of, oh, you just need a, you just need a father figure or you just need a man in your life or some bullshit like that, right? Whenever I hear that stupid ass shit, I look at all of the men in my vicinity and all of the men that I deal with on a daily basis and I compare myself. That's the only time when I ever compare myself. And I look at how many men I know that grew up with fathers that have no discipline. How many men I knew that grew up with fathers that have no sexual control. Just as soon as they just doing all this crazy shit. How many men I know that have fathers that have no self-confidence in their own fucking education. How many men I know that have fathers that cannot stay faithful to their girlfriend for the sake of them? How many men I know that have fathers that don't even take care of their own fucking kids? The statement, oh, you need a father, is typically a statement that's said by a baby boomer. And it's usually said by them because they are, during their prime was the time when the fatherless generation was really being constructed. So they've seen a lot of men grow without fathers. But there's one thing for certain that I can honestly say that you do not need in life. It is a fucking father. What you need really is not so much a father as much as a sense of direction and a sense of righteousness. As long as you have those things, everything else you'll be able to put in place. But what is a father if all a father can do is mislead you? What is a father if all a father can do is give you a, ma a bad example? I will honestly tell you flat out that if your father is not in your life, chances are it's probably a good thing. Because he probably wasn't about shit anyway for you to be exist and for him not to have anything to do with you. Now, there are different cases. There are cases of, you know, unknown pregnancies and things of that nature, which was basically like, which, basically my, which was basically my case. But I say all that to say that you should not feel ashamed for not knowing who your father is. Instead, you should see it as an opportunity to become your own father, to determine your own destiny, to push forward in your own life. It doesn't mean anything. I dropped out of high school. I didn't have a father. I dropped out of high school. I graduated from college. It Whenever I go from point A to point B, I'm seen as a complete man. I'm admired. People follow me because of my masculinity. You do not need a father to achieve anything in life. All a father is, is a early role model who can definitely help you through childhood. And honestly, I think fathers are great, especially when it comes to cultivating masculinity. This isn't like a video against fatherhood. But this is just to say that if you grow, have grown up without a father, do not let it hurt your feelings. Do not let it hold you back in life. Do not let it stress you out. Because there are so many people with fathers that are actually put at disadvantages. So many people with fathers are put at disadvantages. Simply because their father wasn't shit. Simply because their father tells them that they're not going to be shit. And even 
all things being equal, even when your father is giving you all the best advice in the world. I know so many people with, with great fathers and still, still are not shit. So never let not having a father ever get you down. It is a, yeah, you do have a smaller family, but really you have nothing to worry about. The unknown can't add or take away. Now you can sit there and fret that you don't have a perfect life, but no one does. And everyone is always gonna have some form of shortcoming. So if a father is your shortcoming, don't let you be the continuation of that shortcoming. Don't let you be the continuation of that generational curse where you have children and you are not actually there for your child. Don't let you not having a father dictate your inability to do things. Don't let you not having a father be stereotypically what baby boomers think you should be by not having a father. If you let a baby boomer tell you what the result of not having a father is, they're going to tell you something along the lines of homosexuality. And I can tell you flat out, here in 2021, when I'm here in New York City, where literally almost half of the men here are gay, I can honestly tell you flat out that most of these men have had fathers. And I can also tell you that having a father has nothing to do with... Having a father is not going to dictate how masculine you are. Having a father is not going to dictate your success in life. Having a father is not going to even dictate your mental health. So if you are growing up without a father, do not be ashamed of that. And look at it as an opportunity to raise yourself. Because that's how I looked at it. And I'm going to be honest, I loved every minute of it. I loved every step of the way. Because like I said before, the men that I was exposed to growing up were not shit. They were fucking stupid as fuck. And I can say that because I raised myself. But had I let them raise me, I would be just as stupid as them. And so when people tell me, oh, you just need a father, I find it hilarious. And I know it's just an insult. Because at the end of the day, I look at myself and I just look at how I manage myself, how I handle myself. And you will be hard pressed to find a man that handles himself better than me. Hard fucking pressed. And I know that. I'm the fucking Alpha Omega of this motherfucker, period. And I grew up without a father. So if you're out there and you grow up without a father, I'm telling you, do not beat yourself up. For all you know, your father could be a bitch in prison. And then how would you feel? Exactly. So don't beat yourself up. It's okay. Life goes on. And just look at it as an opportunity to rage yourself and to become exactly what you want to be without distraction. Because have another dude in your life. <laughs> Just look at your guy friends and ask yourself, what, like have another boss in your life. And I'm going to be honest, having a good father that actually makes you into something is simply a roll of the dice. And not having a perfect life is more of a blessing than it is a curse. Because people that have perfect lives are weak as fuck. People that have perfect lives are weak as fuck. All they are is fucking crutches. So you not having a father is an opportunity for you not only to raise yourself, but for you to exceed. Which you where you would have been with a father because now you have to make up for the rest. And then there is a real opportunity to become alpha. That's what everyone wants to be. You want to be alpha? Okay, cool. Raise yourself. That's an easy way to become alpha. Know who you are. Having a father isn't going to help you achieve that at all. It'll just give you a point of reference. Like I said before, it might not always be the best point of reference. So anyways, y'all, this video is getting really long. You do not need a father to be successful in life. You do not need a father to be a fucking man. You do not need a father for anything. And you should never beat yourself up for not having a father. With all that said, it's your boy Diesel. Include another one for the people. Your future is what you choose. Be happy. Don't beat yourself up over something that doesn't fucking matter. I hope this one helped you guys. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. With that said, it's your boy Diesel concluding another one for the people. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't worry about not having a father. Signing out. Peace.
you find the one, you should never give her up I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah Eyes around my soul, 